Hi, this is Info Puppet, and you are going to love part one and part two on dispersion. On the first part, I'm going to show you how to get brushes, how to download them, and how to load them into Photoshop Elements. Hey, check out my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. All right, so we're going to go to Google and we're going to just type in phys physical magic, all one word, and deviant art. Now, I left the T out of deviant, but you can see uh, what I did there. It should be physical magic, one word, and divi deviant art, one word, and there it is right there. And we'll just click on brushes. And now here's the page, and we're going to come over to this one right here, Spatters Brushes. And we'll click on that. And the Spatters Brushes window opens up, or the page opens up. And where's the download file? I can't find it! Well, it's right here. Let's click on Download File. Now, if you have a Mac, uh, and you have the most recent version of Safari, it's going to be right in this little arrow here on the upper right hand corner. And there they are, Spatters Brushes. So I'm just going to click, left click, hold, and drag them onto the desktop. Love it. If you have a PC, what you're going to do is right click and then select Show show in folder. Now that says show in finder, but on a PC it'll be show in folder. Then you just find it in the folder, and there it is, brushes, and again I'm just left clicking, holding, and dragging onto the desktop. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get into Photoshop Elements 10. All right. Now I'm just going to go to Window and Tools and the rest of Elements opens up. That's what you need to do if you only get an image. Now we're going to the toolbar and there's the brush tool. And we just want the brush tool, the regular brush tool. Now we're going to click right here and there's the standard brushes right here. But look at these two little white arrows. If you click on them, you're going to find what we need, which is load brushes. We're not going to click on that yet. For about 10 seconds, I'm going to go to Photoshop Elements 11. Okay, now there's the brush tool. I already have it selected. And we're just going to click here on this little black drop down by brush. And now with Photoshop Elements 11, you just got to find this little drop down with the lines here. Click on that, and then again, there's your load brushes. All right. Now, we're going to go back to Photoshop Elements 10, click on the two white arrows, and now we're actually going to load the brushes. Now, the load window opens up, and I'm just going to find my brushes. And where are they? I see them. So I'm just going to select them by left clicking and releasing and then clicking on load. Now look, you can see the brushes. And in my next tutorial, when I'm going to show you how to do the dispersion effect, I'm going to tell you exactly what brushes I've used with numbers like the 1262 here. Okay, you're, when you click on these brushes, they're going to be pretty large like this. So you're going to have to go up here to size. And I'm going to resize this to like uh, 170. There it is. I'm going to click and you can see my little purple spatters there. But that's how you load the brushes. This is part one of dispersion. Check out part two when I'm going to show you how to use the dispersion effect 
You are gonna love it. Thanks for watching from Info Puppet.